Hey, let's see. It says to flip. I'm gonna flip. Where where did it go? Wait a minute. How does this work? There you go. Oh, now I can see the car. Have you done this before? Well, just when I was looking at the cam, it was the first time uh, with Will the other day. Nice. So anyway, I'm recording on another camera too, so I'm just going to kind of explain. So we've just we've just hopefully corrected the timing belt issue. It was pretty bad. It turned out to be a a sprocket on the cam was left loose, and it and it uh, uh, spun the cam sprocket and busted the securing pin and threw the whole thing out of time. Uh, they thought it was a blown engine and uh, uh, so I've redone the timing belt and we were able to source a, a pin and, and restore it. So we're firing it up for the first time to see if it works. So here we go. Hopefully I got everything. Some... Should sound pretty rough. I put a uh, new, new uh, idler pulley, that bushing. Uh, your belt's not the greatest shape, but good enough. I um, um, topped it off. We're gonna have to, you know, make sure that we get our coolant all right. I'm gonna take it out on a test drive and run it on, put it through a few paces and see how it does. But I've got the new plugs in. Um, I'm getting a lot of smoke in the garage. Oh my God! <laughs> in fact, the whole street is full of smoke. That's all the carbon in there and stuff. And also, I was cleaning the throttle body, uh, blows in and blows in. But it's just smoking like crazy right now. Okay, open up the door. Woo! I'm gonna put on a fan too. Though. Could just be all that 44k. I mean, there was so much carbon in those pistons, just loose. Also in the throttle, also in the throttle body and in the intake manifold, it blew up in there and it was full of stuff in there. So it just could be that and the cats and everything cleaning back out. I mean, I expected some of this, but this this is more than I expected. I can't see where uh, the timing belt uh, doing that would make it smoke. We would look for it to, you know, be a bad engine, meaning that the interference with the valves did that. I suppose the valve guides could do it, but I, you had that 44K and then that fuel just was pumping in there, right? It's into the oil. That's why I was concerned about the oil. I was, you know, saying we should change it, but we can get to it later. There's, there's a lot of fuel in the oil. The other concern, of course, is that it washed the ring so much from all that fuel from being out of time dumping in there that it could have caused damage to the rings. 
the smoke seems to be slowing now. that stuff in and shut it down and let it soak when you start it up it smokes like crazy like this and I was also cleaning the throttle body and it shoots stuff in there and no smoke so I think it's just all that fuel and 44k and throttle body cleaner and carbon because it was burning it was just dumping fuel in there right yeah. but it sounds fine that's good. Oh. Did not, did not drop it because that's what it probably was when you started it. Yeah. Um, it, it could have been as you drove it too. It's, it's, it's hard to say. When, when as I drove it, and as I drove it, it sunk on it a little bit. It probably moved more. Yeah, it might have. But as the crank turned and the compression held back the cams, the direction of travel is actually tightening, tightening the bolt, so it tightened itself on there and stopped turning. I don't think it kept spinning. Okay. So it got to a point and I think pretty much stopped and it was just out of phase, it was out of clock. And it was at a point that it was just dumping raw fuel in there and then when you were cranking it, trying to start it, it was just dumping raw fuel in there. And we dumped a lot of fuel in there. Remember, I, it, I could hardly breathe in here for, oh geez, all that first day when we got the plugs out of there, it was bad. 